What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, I had to make this video, man. Uh, I didn't plan on uh, recording this video. I plan on uh, potentially recording another reaction I had lined up. But this is literally the topic of tonight, and it's probably going to be the topic uh, for the next few days, man. Uh, for those who didn't uh, see John Moxley versus uh cm punk on aew dynamite for the unification of the aew world heavyweight championship uh you didn't miss much because the match was only like three minutes long um shout out to everyone that was with me watching live on uh on youtube i was doing live stream reaction and uh shout out to everyone that was in the chat um but I, I, I'm so confused and perplexed on the decision that they made for this match to happen and for it to go the way that it did. Now, I want to put this out there. I'm all for long-term booking, interesting storytelling, and I'm, I'm, I'm all for giving time for a story to grow and develop. But I am not for the story that's being told being a detriment to either a match of this caliber this is not just a regular championship match this is without a doubt in my mind and i think a lot of people's mind potentially the biggest if not the biggest aew world heavyweight championship match because this is a unification of the titles the interim champion versus the actual champion coming together to see who's going to be the undisputed AEW World Heavyweight Champion. This is not something that you take lightly if you're trying to build up this company. Now, when they initially moved it up from, instead of it being an all out, to moving it up to this week, I was very confused on that, but I figured it's probably storyline wise. Either way, it, it, it had me excited to want to see the show. So, oh, I got to stream that. John Moxley versus CM Punk on free TV. I know there's going to be some commercial breaks involved probably, but it's, it's the unification match. And that promo they had last week was fantastic. Granted, this is only one week of build, but hey, I think people were just going to be excited to see it just off the strength of them going at it, man. I was, I was looking forward to it. And then we get to the show and it was announced that it was going to be at the top of the eight o'clock hour. Oh, I want to say it was the 9 o'clock hour, I want to say. I'm not sure. No, it was the 8 o'clock hour for my, for my time zone. It was the 8 o'clock hour. It was going to be at the top of the 8 o'clock hour. And I'm like, that can't be right. This is the main event. This, this is a main event match. This is not a match you have in the middle of a free television show. Hell, you don't have this match on free television. You have this at the pay-per-view. But you having this at the middle of the show, I'm like, huh. Something's not right about that. I was very confused, very concerned. Didn't make sense to me, but you know, I was like, fuck it. It's going to be entertaining. I'm, I'm willing to bet they're going to put on a great showing. I'm willing to give them the benefit of the doubt that this match is going to be one of the matches that we talk about, hopefully, all through <laughs> the rest of the week, right? They're doing their intros and whatnot. Everybody's hyped up. Obviously, John Moxley was going to get more of a, a baby face reaction. He was in his home state. CM Punk definitely was getting his booze, you know. Seems fine. Walking out there, fine. Whatever. Match begins. They have their, you know, you know, it starts off as I expected or whatnot. Big fight atmosphere. Next thing I know, CM Punk goes for a kick. But he ends up grabbing his other leg. The leg that he kicked with wasn't i believe the injured leg i believe the leg that he was planted on was the leg that he went to grab as it as an injury obviously that's more storyline storyline driven he was selling that so i kind of figured that and then all of a sudden john moxley just goes into attack mode and within a few minutes john moxley dispatches cm punk soundly like he was nothing now I get it. They're they're going with the injury uh storyline here. But once again, I think you could have possibly drawn that out and made that better in a sense. Because people have been wanting to see this match. I was excited about this match, only for me to be involved in the match for three minutes. Three minutes. 
I got you for three minutes. Three minutes of playtime. Let me know. Comment down below. Let me know. What movie is that from? Oh, my God, bro. I... It just didn't make any sense, bro. Like, I am so confused by that. For the simple fact of this was promoted as easily the biggest match in AEW history. Only to last for three minutes because they're trying to still tell a better story. A bigger story. What are we doing? I'm sorry. I just, that don't make sense to me. It, it don't. I know people are probably going to be like, you may, I'll just be patient. That just doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense at all. CM Punk legit got squashed. Sometimes we, we use that as a hyperbole. Oh, he, someone got squashed. No, he got squashed. Now, granted, due to injury, but no, brother, never, he really got squashed. He barely got any offense in. Now, I get it. They were selling it. He's walking up the ramp with the help of officials he's looking back seeing john moxley celebrate that's a good image that's that's a good visual of him turning heel i'm for it but you're telling me we can only get a three minute match unless he was actually legit injured and couldn't really go that long in a match from to begin with so they cut the match short but even then that literally bro it for me when i think of the summer of punk and how it got ruined because of the injury that literally kind of just made everything that CM Punk went through, everything that he achieved so far in AEW, it meant, to me, it made it mean a whole lot less. Because he ended up going against the guy that was front-running AEW when it started. He ended up going against him and got sent to the gulags like that. Once again, because of a storyline injury, but it just, it just made it feel like CM Punk's rise to the title wasn't it, it 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 really went nowhere. It went nowhere after Adam Hangman Page got injured and then that was it. And got got squashed by John Moxley. That I, I don't know, man. I'm just I'm not feeling this booking decision. And then I've said this on stream. If he's injured, if he was already injured, they shouldn't have booked this match. This match should not have happened if he was already injured. If there's some backstage politics and this is uh, Tony Khan's way of punishing CM Punk, I don't think that is the case. But I wouldn't be surprised maybe if that was the case. Who knows? But all I know is for me and a lot of people that was in the chat and people I've seen on, on social media, this wasn't it, bro. I don't, I, I'm, I'm willing to agree to disagree with someone. This was not it. I was severely let down in wanting to see this match. Now, I'm sure they'll probably have a rematch maybe at some point. Maybe it'll happen at All Out, but I just feel like, what was the point? What was the point to get the titles off of CM Punk? Then why have an interim champion? You could have had CM Punk vacated. I would have preferred, me personally, I prefer if they fucking vacate the titles. Instead of having these interim, just vacate the titles. I would prefer that. And then we can have that redemption story. Can CM Punk strike strike gold again? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'd rather that. If he's not able to come back, I would have just said, hey, bro, looking at looking at the timetable of your injury, we're going to have to probably ask you to vacate it. That would have been a more memorable story for him to try to come back and reclaim gold. That would have been cool. You could still pull off the heel turn on his return. Like, you can pull it off the heel turn, like, when he comes back if you wanted to i feel like there's just so many different avenues they could have took but instead you have the main event of possibly your biggest world championship match in the company's history and it only lasted three minutes for shock value and for people to talk about it like me i'm talking about it now i'm making a whole separate video about this because obviously this is going to be the talk of the town for the rest of the weekend there's going to probably be reports was this storyline wise was this because tony khan wanted to punish cm punk is cm punk now leaving i've been seeing people say that i don't know all about that i'm not going to get into that we'll figure out what happens over the weekend and also this is clearly was a rating boost they decided to put this match at that time slot to get people hyped up to want to stay around for the show honestly my opinion they could have just had this at the end of the show but now knowing how they planned on booking the show 
it made sense they didn't put it at the end because it, it would have just been that would have been super anticlimactic to put that at the end of the show so i get why it was put at the middle of the show but overall i think them trying to do some fancy storytelling here it it, it really it hurt the show in my opinion the hype of the show it hurt last week's promo they had last week's promo doesn't mean nothing i'm just being honest with you the promo they had cm punk john moxley means nothing now it meant nothing because of what they did here at least with the mjf and the cm punk promos they meant something in that feud that they had fantastic feud the cm punk mjf feud meant something you can go back and watch those promos segments because they mean something they built to something greater that promo segment we got between john moxley and cm punk now seeing what we got here in the main of well the co-main event now seeing the three minute championship match unification match none of what they said means absolute shit when you go back and look at that you're like damn bro they had a great segment too bad the match didn't live up to nothing that they said nothing so i don't know man this is this is one of those situations where it's like, bro, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't I'm, I'm, I'm just so confused and perplexed and I don't know what they do here. Uh, I'm, I, I, they don't even now have a, a, a world championship match for All Out. So I'm sure they will find a way to get that match to happen. And I'm like, if you have All Out in Chicago, you got to have CM Punk. So we'll see what will happen. But I did not like how they got the championship on John Moxley. I want to put this out there. I don't have a problem with John Moxley winning. I think John Moxley winning is a cool way, you know, that that's that's a cool pick. Especially if you're able to potentially turn CM Punk heel, I'm all for it. I just did not like the execution of the actual match cuz literally it was 3 minutes and it was done and we're moving on to mid-card segments. Right after a AEW World Heavyweight Championship unification match. We're going to mid-card segments. D does that not compute with y'all? Does that not make sense? Like, does that does that make sense to some of y'all? Like, World Championship match, big implications of the future of the World Heavyweight Championship, mid-card segments. Here, here. I don't know. Comment down below. Let me know. What's your thoughts? on this whole situation did you guys enjoy that three minute match uh are you guys in favor with what tony khan is doing booking wise do you guys agree with the the match outcome or are you guys not really sure what the hell is going on and you're kind of disliking how things were set up for this unification match just let me know down below what your thoughts and opinions on all of this because this is just insane man but uh Appreciate all love and support on the channel. Road to 100K. Appreciate y'all keeping with me. See y'all next one. Peace.